What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel Skotrix, and today as you can see we are back on NBA 2K25 current gen for another build guide video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to build the best sharpshooter build in NBA 2K25 current gen. This build has obviously amazing shooting, especially from the three point line, but it also has a little bit of finishing, playmaking, and defense as well, so it's a solid all around build, but obviously the main emphasis is on sharpshooting and mainly three point shooting. So let's get into it here. First off, for the position you want to be a shooting guard, nothing else on this screen really matters, you can set it up however you want as long as you have your position as shooting guard then for the height you can stay at six foot five the weight can go down to 195 wingspan it can go down to six foot five just so that you can get your three-pointer up and then your body shape can go to whatever you want this really doesn't make any difference all it changes is how the build looks it doesn't change how it plays so you can choose whichever one you like the look of the most then go ahead and click continue now on to the attributes right here first off for the finishing you can bring your close shot up to a 57 obviously not very much of a close shot build put your layup up to a 70 so you will be able to finish at the rim if you're wide open you can't really go up over for big men or if the layup is super contested but you can finish at the rim with layups if you're wide open or relatively open so put that up to a 70 then you can go down driving dunk to a 28 and your post control can go to a 27 then you can go down to the shooting first off for the mid-range this can go up to an 87 which is more than enough you shouldn't need any higher than that and i left that a little bit lower so you can get the three point higher the three pointer can go all the way up to a 90 six right here and as you can see that gives agent three onto hall of fame every single tier one or tier two badge goes on to hall of fame and the remaining three tier three badges go into gold but that should be more than enough you get 30 shooting badges in total so you should be able to get all the badges you need and you should be able to sharpshoot on this build from basically anywhere on the court it's a very very good sharpshooting build obviously that's the main emphasis of the build then the free throw can go to 76 no point in upgrading this too much because you're not going to get fouled on three point shots very often free throw is more important for your slashers i think so now onto the playmaking you can put your pass accuracy up to a 71 right here ball handle can go up to a 68 so this isn't really a great playmaking build but speed of ball can go up to a 69 so it's not really a great playmaking build you get 13 badges and you do have some decent badges on to either bronze or silver but you should have enough playmaking you shouldn't be throwing the ball to bounce with a 71 pass accuracy you shouldn't be losing the ball with a 68 ball handle even though it's more of a catch and shoot spot up shooter build rather than a create your own shot type of build it's more of a sharp shooter than a shot creator and the speed of ball at 69 should be good enough now on to the defense right here first off for the perimeter defense you can put this up to a 77 so you do have decent enough defense you should be able to defend basically any guard no problem your steel goes up to a 79 so pretty solid defense right here that also gives interceptor onto silver and glove onto bronze and you also have a bunch of other good badges as you can see there and now you can put your defensive rebound also up to a 57 so you will be able to get defensive rebounds on this build that gives 16 defensive badges as you can see then you can go down to the physicals this build does have good physicals as well 93 speed which is very 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 good good so that you can get open on the perimeter you can get around screen screens quickly you can run down the court on fast breaks and get to your spot and get to spot up shooting but that's why you want the speed super high the acceleration should be good at an 80 right there the strength is good at a 27 i decided not to upgrade that because you have to lose something else and you should have enough attributes to get your stamina up to a 99 which is very important no need to upgrade the vertical on this build since there's no block or dunk or anything and a 63 is already not so bad so once you have everything set up like this you can go ahead and click continue and for your takeovers you have access to the shot creating and the sharpshooting obviously for me i'm just going to take the two sharpshooting but you can take whatever really fits your play style the best i would recommend taking the sharpshooting you could take them however you want the primary takeover secondary takeover double whatever it's up to you but then just go ahead and click continue and you're going to get compared to jj reddick austin reeves and tyler hero so three good sharpshooters right there and the build is going to be called a spot up threat so yeah basically a sharp shooting build so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like subscribe to the channel for new upload daily 2k25 content build guides all that so make sure you sub so you don't miss any of that but that's gonna be it all right peace